Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to explore route rate limiting features of the Crack ND. So the route rate limiting features allow you to set number of maximum requests per second a Crack ND endpoint will accept. Uh, actually, there are two uh, different strategies to use apply on the rate limiting. Uh, one is uh, endpoint endpoint rate limiting, which applies on uh, all customers or users. Uh, and also there uh, the second type is user rate limiting it applies on uh, individual user so um, let's get started to apply on the uh, dummy uh, URL, URL which we have the endpoint of that one if I will show you that's the endpoint I if I see to request many requests in within a second it will accept it so in, like that I have attempted too many requests now let's see inside the console you can notice that i have requested so many within a few uh, within a seconds and it accepted so let's apply a route a router limiting on that uh, first of all you have to go to the endpoints inside the extra config you should apply there so uh, there is a name of qos rate limiter rate limit router select that one inside that there is a max rate which applies on all customer users uh, applies on endpoints and the second one is uh, uh, I, if i will pass here of one let's two i will add two and this next one is client max rate if i will pass here one means that per second client side can accept only one uh, request per second so next is uh, the strategy or key uh, there are two types of strategy you can use either header or IP uh, so in here I will use IP so that's it so let's get uh, uh, rebuild our image let's stop it and uh, the command for building is docker build dot dash t for tag and the tag name will hit enter it will take a few seconds to building the image now run that specific by running minus it dash p for port mapping and the last one is the image the tag of specific container image so it's listing on 880 now let's try within this so i will uh, try to send you the uh, slow request it's handling so let's attempt many requests within a second you can notice that it throws four zero four to nine too many requests it's because uh, the user has sent too many requests in a given amount of time intended to use with the rate limiting schemes So hope you will get the idea and here in the console rate limit exceeds Throw in the console errors because of we have applied limit rate limit on that If we will change it to for, for example, I will change it to 15 and user can accept uh, clients I can accept five requests per second and now rebuild it again uh, rebuilding process actually used for our <coughs> copying our local crack entity into the container so that's why it will necessary to uh, repeat the process to pushing our local crack entity into container so let's run it again and now it's here i will apply it's handling if i will apply quickly all request gets completed and they have no error warning etc so that's it for the uh, strategies of rate limiting apply on specific endpoint thank you so much for watching